Hi, how are you? It's Straps here, and welcome back to our adventures in Dying Light 2. Last episode, we saved Aider with the medicine that we received from a herbalist. How's it going, Whitey? Looks like we saved Aider. Good thing we yeah, gave him I the mean, medicine, or he probably would have died. Dude, it's like if I if I bet if we were betting on like who we thought was dying or dead or coming back, I mean, I'd be losing so much money. I can never tell who's coming back. Yeah, I, I didn't know what to do there, man. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. There's Idris. Idris Silva. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague. From the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? Um, should we tell him? Yeah. Yeah, we've been telling we everybody know. anyways. Yeah. So. I'm looking for well, my we, sister. We, the more we, the more we say her? about her, the better. A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them. Right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another. And another. Until you get the answers you're looking for. Uh, I'll ask them why they're hiding, I guess. Why are the yeah. former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. We'll say okay. Yeah, I'm not okay. I'm in. <laughs> so no point even no, saying that. Thing. Yeah, I know. Sometimes there's no reason. point. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <laughs> so just piss him off. We said that. Yeah, he would have just told us what he just said. I think. You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden, you don't have to call me sir to friends. I'm Jack. Dude, I swear, okay. this guy's always sick and dying Jack. of something, but still badass. It was, yeah. like the same, it was like the same in Pacific Rim. He was like about to die, and he was just like, I'll still fight. All right, so we got to find Meyer. Yeah, I wonder what the renegades, I mean, uh, Here we go. Matt told me to see you. 
Yes, the he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Ooh. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan. That helps tonight. The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so Everywhere dangerous? The TV tower. A volatile nest inside. Oh my so god. We think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wow. Oh. Yeah, tell me more. I want to know more about that. Wiped yeah, out? Night runners got wiped you mean out. every last night runner? That's the problem. It's not true, Frank though. Had it all carefully yeah, planned. Frank. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the night runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the night runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. All right. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. And a volatile nest. Yeah, I don't know. And the night runners couldn't handle it, so we gotta go now? Like, what the heck? UV flashlight. Yeah, it's our thing. first night runner tool. Yeah, UV flashlight allows you to repel. Yeah, weakens infected. Press one and hold the middle. Uh, Clip it with one and then hold middle mouse button to use it. When it reaches zero, you'll have to wait. Yo, so we can you one of us uses it while the other guy okay. chops them up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's pretty OP, actually. And we'll just swap it out. Yeah, and then when yours is charging, I just put mine up. <laughs> Let's try it. Yesterday, my youngest said, when I grow up, I want to fit the Wenegades too. Not work on the boat like you and me. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on his schedule. It's urgent. His schedule. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Wanna do for fun? Yeah, what's one No, for wait, fun? but you're no fun. <laughs> what about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. 
food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. I try, but no. I won't say. I wonder how we bribe her. Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Ah, oh, but she's a bitch. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Oh, she's loyal to, uh, to Juan, man. And the Juan? That's true. Aiden, getting settled in the city? Working on it. Amira and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking What's around the fish What's the fuck, shop. Collins? Okay, so we're gonna have to go to the fish, eh? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Alright, so we gotta... Go, uh... To have company here, if you know what I mean. Uh, the boys gotta there. find our way up. Over here, I think. On me. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Back where we were. The infected are crawling through the floor. It's a shame. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait. oh. I wonder what the bizarre people are doing, like if you, like what they're doing in the city, they probably have a base too. Yeah, for sure. And they're definitely struggling right now. <laughs> I can't, I, who knows? Maybe their base is the fish eye. Maybe, like I would assume that's what it is. Well, as we progress, they degress. Man, it probably is the fish eye. Yeah, it is the fish eye, because that you look over there, it's that's uh their oh, territory. Oh, it's up the PKs. Oh, I hit a PK, okay, run. You pissed them off. <laughs> yeah, it's time to run. Well, I tried to save him. Oh, Kick the zombie, you don't fucking swing a sledgehammer at him. <laughs> it's daytime, that's for sure. Nice to get up a little higher here. Oh, nice lift. Wonder we can, I wonder if this is like a shoot thing, you know? Jump up that. There, yeah, we're here. Is that him? Yeah.
Juan Reiner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, <laughs> from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including <laughs> Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. A cleaner burning. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't yeah. that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Just pull out your axe. <laughs> I hope you got a funny threat. Uh, we want to threaten him? Let's see what happens. What? Threaten? Yeah, pull out your yeah, axe. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we'll just kill you, man. Like, what do you How about expect? a court martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. <laughs> Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. Yeah, wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we weren't allowed to. I thought we were actually going to threaten him. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. Yeah, see, it's always do a Put quest for the guy. Here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're pretty bad at sales. You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <laughs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. So what happened? Returning to well. more pressing matters. And what should we try now? Did you make headway with the So we had to ask him for help? Quite like him before. Oh, we're back with Luan. Even a drop of pino, maybe some fruit. Sweets always do me good between heavier. Oh, fruit. she's here. Yeah, this is like we're. Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else, bribe him. He likes fine art, yeah. antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch.
Time to go loot. Yeah, it was interesting. Imagine you actually had to give him like an NFT. <laughs> I think that's uh, hilarious. I offer more Jesus, items than there are spec. crows in the sky. Decent little uh, Lego one hand. Yeah. Ooh, this cleaver is nice. The two hander? I don't think it is. What's our cleaver at? Sure hope to see you again. Just want to check our weapons here. 59 damage. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You want to call it here, and then next episode we'll head over to the art collector's apartment? Uh, if you want, yeah. This could be a nice little short one. Yeah. I, don't buy I think it's good. The more, it lines up better, I think. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to be calling the episode here, guys. Knuckle dusters. Next episode, we will be heading over to the apartment, and we will try to get yeah, some collectibles. Good. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.